Ho ho, me hearties! A very good afternoon to you. Scotty McClay saying dinky do, Kieran, welcome if you've just joined us. David, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And a very good Sunday afternoon to you. Scotty McClay popping up live just to say dinky do to every single one of you. Welcome, 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 I say, of course. I hope you're getting this on your page and that you will come and join us and join in TikTok's top talk show with me, Scotty McClay, live just to see what you're up to. How amazing is that? How fantastic is that? Do come and join us. As I say, hashtag float I, all uppercase, the first lord of the internet. Never ever miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. If you're scrolling, you can stop scrolling because you've arrived at your destination. How good is that? Thank you very much, Mark. Sean's just joined us. Welcome, Sean. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very important. And welcome, 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 I say. Now, a lot of you will be getting ready for Sunday lunch. A lot of you are getting ready to watch the football. But there's always time to come and say hi to Scotty McClue, dinky do, as you're having your breakfast in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland or in South Africa. If you're having your supper in Australia, down under, and uh, in America, I would imagine you'll be having breakfast, a few waffles and some eggs over easy. I'm getting ready to sleep. It's late here in the USA. Sean, what time do you have in the USA? I thought you'd be ready for your breakfast now, dinky do. Uh, come and join us as soon as you possibly can, everyone. The West Coast, right, you're on the West Coast. And what is your time? Uh, have a look at the clock. Tell us what time it is with you, Sean. Thank you, Agent and Adam. All come and join me, Scotty McClue, just for you, saying dinky do live on TikTok. It's 4.26 in the morning. You should be in your bed sound asleep by now, Sean. What are you playing at? Uh, Scotty, the viewers will be back up after the Euros are done. It's coming home. Let's hope so. That's what I was saying to everybody. You know, I mean... Everybody loves these lives. They've all told me, you know, everybody has sent wonderful, wonderful messages of hope. But as soon as you guys are fed up with it, I shall disappear. Do not worry. Uh, you know, but I think to myself, amazing. Good night. Hashtag float eye. The people who stayed up all night, where are you at? Aha. I am at beside talking to you. Uh, did you watch the McGregor fight? No, I tend not to watch fights because they look sore. Uh, I love these lives, mate. Keep them going. Dylan, thank you very much. It's all been very, very, very positive feedback. I had to roast a troll the other night. You'll see that about uh, three TikToks back on the TikTok videos. Also get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Very big. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm Dinky Doo La Hoop. Lovely to have you with us. Are you a goth? Well, we are all goths originally, you see, <coughs> because we were all gothic. You're so wholesome, my friend. I thank you very, very much, my friend. Lovely to have you with us. Hi from Bristol. Oi, we like you in Bristol, I say. Um, are you supporting? Do you know Clifton? There we are. Are you supporting England later, Scotty? Oh, I think. Uh, I don't know. Is it England and Italy is my choice? Mm, buongiorno, buongiorno. Follow us, follow us, guys. What's for supper tonight? Supper tonight is outstanding. Scrambled egg. How amazing is that? Wonderful. A very, very flash supper. Follow us as soon as you possibly can, guys. Very much appreciated. And thank you to every single one of you for your generosity, for your lovely gifts, for following me, for sharing the videos, for watching the videos. You know what I mean? It's massive. Amazing, Scotty. I thank you. Hi from Switzerland, Dinky Doo. You think that 650,000 have already viewed these lives. Only 16,000 have actually chosen to follow. So I say, do the decent thing. Follow me. And there we are. Now, who have we got? I've got pizza, says Angela. Good for you, Angie. Scotty, it's good to see you. I am the boss. It's lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. 
It's coming home. Do we think it's coming home? You're such an amazing person, Scotty. I always love watching your lives and video. I thank you so much. There we are. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Jesus doesn't just love us. Jesus adores us. Go through the TikTok videos and I'll play you. I'll play you Jesus Loves Me. Yes, fantastic. On the piano. It's coming home. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Scottish girl, thank you so much. Scottish girl. Scottish girl. There we are. Thank you for following us. Very, very much appreciated. Everybody that follows is a hero or a heroine. There we are. Fantastic. I'm just going to sort this so I can show you my, um, this one here, my following, following page. Okay, that's us there. Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag flow tie. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Get yourselves on there, guys, and join in the world's top talk show where we discuss everything. There we are. Lahoub James reckons it's going to Rome. You kind of look like Egged Sheeran. Well, depends on your kind of idea, on your kind of imagination. Fantastic. I agree. Thank you very much. Now, we've got so much to talk about, guys, and so little time to do it in. Amazing discussions about is the earth round or flat? Also, do you want Donald Trump and do you want Donald Trump back? We're not political, but it's just interesting to discuss all these things. Fantastic. So there you are. Now, I am the boss. You've asked me that several times. Please don't spam. Okay. I didn't watch the fight. I don't watch fighting. Now then, here we go. Oh. I don't watch fighting because it looks painful. Scotty, ban those who think the world is flat. Well, the only thing is, what if it was and we banned the wrong people round Earth? Uh, there we go. Do you think we should get rid of the flat Earth people or are they correct? Uh, Dinky do, fat spoon with a P-H-A-T. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do from Scotty McClue. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do, Dinky do, great. Football's coming home. Yes, get rid of them, get rid of them. Yeah, but if we just get rid of everybody that thinks differently, what kind of world have we got? You see, Donald Trump was very advanced in his thinking. He's probably the most advanced thinking. Has it not been factually proven to be found? To be found what, Lahoub? The earth is actually hollow, says Fat Spoon. Right, so if you tap the earth, it would go knock, knock. Hollow earth. There we are, fantastic. It's round. Oh, it's round, Lahoub. Aha. There we are. But, you see, if it's round, how come the Antarcticans don't just fall off into space? You know what I mean? Gravity surely would get them falling off. How come the waves don't, the, the oceans don't empty? There we are. Hello from New Zealand. Ali, lovely to have you with us in New Zealand. Ali Yarrow. A great famous name in Scotland. Originally from England, I think, but the shipbuilders, Yarrow, very famous. The earth being hollow is gravitational impossible. Did you know the Laird of Cucadans? Alan, I knew the Laird of Cucadans very, very well. Jack, Jack had done the same jobs as me. And I uh, had some lovely chats with Jack on the phone. There we are. Do follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Is It is illegal to fly over the poles as they are hiding the entrances. Wow. It's a very interesting topic, Scotty. I thank you. My brother James says, hello, says, I am the, I am the walrus. Walrus. It should be walrus. Hi from Sheffield. We love Sheffield. Oh, boy. How much does Scotty McClue adore Sheffield? There we are. Now, I've done you a special poem. I've done the owl and the pussycat. You will see it on the, the lives, not the lives, the uh, TikTok videos. You'll see them if you tap left, up will come all the videos. Go and like every single one of them. Yes, indeed, it's coming home. Tell me you have a Nokia without telling me you have a Nokia. 
Scotty, I'm eating scrambled eggs on toast while watching you, my man. Keep it up. Excellent. Big Q, Scotty, it's coming home or coming Rome. Do you have Twitch? Yes. Uh, Scotty underscore McClue. But I haven't been on it very much recently. Uh, fit like from Aberdeen. Ah, fit like. Who's your doos? Hey, you been hena softy this morning, are you? Hey, hey, you got rowies? Hey, you got rowies, butteries. I like them crisp. Uh, I want to ruin our friendship. You never, ever will ruin our friendship, Russ. Follow us, everybody. Dinky do. Fantastic stuff. Russ says we should all be lovers instead. Well, I think you'd have to calm down because of the pandemic, Russ. A rowy. Rowies, oh, that's it. Uh, do you hear them crisp? I uh, do you recommend taking the vax. Well, uh, everybody recommends taking the vax, don't they? You know, although a lot of people are suffering a lot of problems, I have to say. Uh, do follow us as soon as you come on. Hello, good morning. How are you? We are Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, say, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Get following. This is what it's all about. Hello from Fraserborough in Scotland. Fray the Broch. You're Fray the Broch. And, uh, oh, we like a Broch, fine. Uh, and Fash, no, a soggy, warm with jam. You didn't have Fash with your batteries in the morning. Hey, do you see hay capers? Would you hear a bit of brown truth? I still see the tackle by Moor. Of course, we all do. Guys, I'm just drinking another cup of tea. How good is that? Fantastic. Now, can everybody share this and tell all your TikTok mates that Scotty McClure's live? Never, ever scroll and never, ever troll. All right. Have you found the lockdown, Scotty? Oh, the lockdown. How have you found the lockdown? Well, it's been tough going, hasn't it? Do a cooking tutorial. No, 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 no. I refuse to bow to that. A trut, a brun trut. I refuse to bow to doing cooking. I know it would get me huge, huge viewership. I might try one. The only reason I am not on everybody's television set right now is because. I don't cook. Otherwise, I'll be on. Do a little dance. Wilt, scroll back uh, through the TikTok videos and I do you a dance, okay? Do you think aliens exist, Scotty? Well, they must do. Look at some of the people we've had on here. Have you been to the Mull of Kintyre, Chelsea? I know the Mull of Kintyre like the back of my hand. Whereabouts are you? Are you in Moosedale? Are you in Clachan? Are you at Kenna Craig? Are you at the West Loch Tarbert? Are you down at Caradale? Are you at Southend? Are you at uh, Machrahanish? Are you in Campbelltown itself? Who does the cooking in your house, Scotty? Oh, I do the cooking. I'm a superb cook. But I just don't do it on the television. You know? If I went on television and made scrambled eggs a la Scotty, the whole world would be watching. Tremendous. But because I like talking. Are you a political beast or a neutral beast? Both wilt. I am apolitical, so I don't support any party, but I'm very, very knowledgeable on politics, but I'm neutral, <laughs> if that makes sense. Share the video, guys. Snoopy says, Jesus loves you. You are correct, Snoopy. There we are, 100%. Yes, I can give you that one. No problem at all. Right, guys, get sharing. I want to see how high we can get these figures up. Everybody needs to know Scotty McClue's on. Then they can make a decision whether to watch or not. Do you drink when you're inclined enough? Cut his sarts in your mind, oh, fat spoon. Have you been reading Robert Burns' Tam O'Shanter? A market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate and druthy neighbours' neighbours meet. Are you a, a big... Uh, no, 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 no. I don't bother because he blocked me on Twitter. 
You are a legend. I thank you. Follow us, guys. Tell people to tap their screen. It makes you show up in people's FYP. Can everybody watching tap their screen as an experiment, just as a favor? Go on. Get tapping to see if it brings anybody else on. Tap, 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 tap your screen, tap your screen, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, let's see how big we can get this. Tap, 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 tap. Keep tapping, everyone. Everybody, tap their screen. Tap, 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 tap. Let's see if we can get this number up. Come on, everything you can think of. Follow me. Like me, share the live. Tap 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 de tap tap de tap de tap de tap. Tap 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 de tap tap de tap de tap de tap. Okay, see how it goes. Hello, sir Scotty. Good having you back. Welcome. I'm tapping, 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 tapping. Everybody, come on. At the same time, let everybody know. What's your pronouns? We never ever do pronouns. That's old fashioned and divisive. On here, we're all inclusive. Nobody gets labelled, nobody has to justify themselves. Okay, you got that? So there we are. So that's why we would never, ever, ever, ever ask anybody pronouns. Who's your favourite radio chat show host? And you can't say yourself. Do you mean after myself? <clears throat> favourite chat show host after myself. James O'Brien is very, very good because he's very switched on about Brexit. What a mistake it was. Tap, 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 de tap, everyone. Uh, who else do I like? James Stanich was a wonderful one. Great chat show host. Uh, who else have we got as a chat show host? A chat show host. I mean, dare I say it, Nigel Farage was a very good chat show host. James Whale is another excellent chat show host. Um, who else can I think of? I think that's about the best of it. Howard Stern, of course, very, very good. Um I think that's about the best of it, guys. There's only about half a dozen of us in the world that do it properly. I can't think of anyone else. Most of talk radio now, they're just shouting at their audience. They're not talking with them. Uh, Julia Dinkino, lovely to have you with us. Thelma, I sent 653 likes. Thank you. Need an extra mod. Funnily enough, we don't actually need a mod on here because we're very few trolls. James Whale and Ash. Yes, Andy, good stuff. Have you been to Finland? No, that's a luxury I haven't done yet. Uh, so who have we got here? Uh, Thelma, yes, and Julia, yes, absolutely. Excited for the game today. Parkinson, oh, the best. Parkinson, magnificent. Howard Hughes, yes, very, very good. These are good people. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, your heart. Lovely to have you with us. I would say if I'm absolutely honest about it, there's probably about six of us who are top, top, top talk show hosts. And I would have to include myself in that. It would be rude not to. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <coughs> Quick comfort break. It's roasting hot in here. No, it would be too rude not to include myself because it would be rude to you, the wonderful people who have supported me for 29 years last week. 29 years of Scotty McClue right at the top of talk. How amazing is that? Right up the very top of talk shows. Scotty McClue live. Scotty McClue's nightline. Who remembers it? There we are. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do Parkinson. Excellent. Excited for the game. It's coming home. What country are you from? I am from Scotland. 
What's your favourite football club? I've got so many, so many. What country? Yes, yeah, Scotland. Morning, you intelligent man. Morning, Ryan. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Guys, get following me. What is wrong with your followers? David Icke. David Icke's very good. I interviewed David Icke on Red Rose Radio. He was amazing. Fascinating. Uh, way. David Frost. Yes, yeah, sadly no longer with us. Yes, excellent. Hi, Scotty. Who's the doggy in the picture? That's Lord Reith, my lovely black Labrador. Sadly no longer with us, but he's called after Reith of the BBC. This is the most Scottish person ever alive. I am Tiki the Killer. You're quite correct, Tequila. Uh, what's your favourite football team? All of them. Do you like Father Ted? I don't like Father Ted. I adore Father Ted. Oh, for goodness sake, now, what's happening here? Uh, the Wreath Report. Yes, indeed, the Wreath Lectures. He started the BBC with four people. Fantastic guy. Not a terribly good husband or father, but a wonderful, wonderful industrialist and doer of things. A great catalytic person. Are you going to watch the tennis? I might do. Good morning. It's Jeff from London. Jeff, we love you in London. Think you do. Radio 4 is for cronies. I've appeared on Radio 4 a number of times. Yes, indeed. I appeared... Um, what did I appear on Radio 4? I've appeared on Radio 4 talking about the Scotland football match. How about that? I was on uh, Good Morning. I was on Today, Today in the morning. Uh, I nearly said Good Morning, Scotland. So there we are. Can you say hi to Macalind and listen to your show every night? Keep your hand in your hapenny. Keep your horn in your hapenny. Fantastic. Get the women sorted out there. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. The Archers. Hmm. Now, is feminism a good thing or a bad thing? Scotty McClure is regarded as the father of feminism. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Do you like the mug? Fantastic. Women's Hour, here we go. Yes, I appeared with Jenny Murray on a program called The Message. I think it's up on YouTube. Uh, so there we are. Who have we got here? John Nicholson. I don't think he's on radio at the moment. Yes, very good. TV license has had its day. Well, a lot of people are leaving the BBC because it's really only, you know, they feel it's really only sort of a propaganda mouth for the government, you know what I mean? It's a shame. Uh, the BBC actually finally got its back broken over Iraq. That was the end of that. Uh, I love soccer. I just hope soccer hooligans won't spoil it for us. Geo Dog Soccer is a game played by, uh, sorry, a gentleman's game played by hooligans, they used to say. Rugby's a hooligans game played by gentlemen. What do you think? Tell us what you're doing. You're a military man, so did you play football in the military? Um, a shout out to Rod's mate. Don't know what's going on there. Shout out to Lucifer, right? Indeed. Andrew Neal. Now, there's a journalist. There's an excellent guy. Regardless of whether you agree with what he says or you agree with his politics, first class journalist. Scotsman, of course. Excellent newspaper editor. But hardly anybody's reading newspapers nowadays. And Andrew's just started GB News. So I'll go and have a look at that. Andrew Marr. Andrew Marr, very, very good. I wish Andrew Marr was a little bit more incisive. And also he's very hard on Nicola Sturgeon. And I feel he's a bit easy on other politicians. Just my opinion. Uh, there we are. Hi there, Scotty. The Sunday Times. Yes, indeed. Excellent paper. Uh, Djokovic or Berrettini? Oh, I don't know. It's very difficult, isn't it? Aussie rules as hooligans games played by hooligans. <laughs> Football's a hooligans game played by hooligans in Australia. We love it down under. Neil Oliver's fun to listen to. Yes, quite a smart man. Yes, indeed. 
Should the SNP move further down to include the north of England, as Labour has lost the north? I don't know about the SNP, but I think Scotland should start at Watford and go north to uh, the Shetlands. Yes, as of the Outer Skerries. Fantastic. Hey, thank you, do. Lovely to have you there. I'm not sure I like your title, hey. So am I going to have to ban you and come back when you've got a decent username? Because that's shocking. Your mother would be so angry and upset if she knew what you'd called yourself on TikTok. Shocking. Block him. There he goes, gone. Right, guys. Dirty, filthy, wee midden. Are we doing this one, eh? Fantastic. Eh, Bara, hello. Thank you for sharing the video. If you're Gaelic, come on, ha, ooh, ha, come on, ha. You come on and join Scotty McClue. Falchi, Falchi. Keed a mele Falchi on TikTok. I guess Scotty McClue. I hope they agree. I played rugby. It's like a braai in South Africa. It's compulsory. Geo dog, you're a man after my own heart. I'm a rugby man. Tight head prop. Down fast. Bam! <whistles> Up y'all get nothing happening. Okay, ref. Seat ref. Seat referee. Turn the swanny with that dirty, filthy, wee midden geo dog. Guys, if you're coming on, remember to watch your usernames because we're guests in people's houses. We don't want any of your dirty, filthy, mucky gob on here. Getting a point ready now. Uh, quite right, I can. It's coming home. Is it coming home to Rome? Fantastic. Hello from Port Macquarie in Australia. Susie. We love you in Australia. We love Port Macquarie, called after Macquarie from the island of Mull. Yes, I think he was from Salon, was he, Macquarie? Rugby club is the best. Rug Air rugby club is the best rugby club in Scotland. I would say that's true, Sir John. Uh, did Brun from Troon play for Air in his day? Do you remember Brun from Troon, Gordon Brun? Fantastic, great man. Wonderful, lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do from Scotty McClure if you've just joined us. Lots and lots to talk about this morning. Now then, tell everybody about Scotty McClure, but please follow. Look, here are your instructions. <laughs> Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, follow me please. Everybody follow. Afternoon, dinky do. Afternoon, Thomas Vaughan. We spoon from Troon, thank you do. Haggis Pizza. Right, who's not following? Come on, guys, get following. Let's have a follow Amnest. Lachlan Macquarie, the governor of New South Wales. Correct. Was he also Macquarie Bank? Thank you, dear Scotty. I hope you're having a good day. Sparkles, I'm having an outstanding day. Lovely to be with everybody and a big dinky do. We popped up this morning, so I thought we'd pop up again for those that missed it. Keep your comments clean on here everywhere, or it's doing the swanee. Geodog, you're a hundred percent correct. Doing the swanee. Now then, I've finished my tea. Oh, anybody able to tell me, have you all watched my TikTok videos? There's a lot of great fun stuff in there, if you're into my humor. Scotty McClure, I remember you on Magic Radio in Liverpool back in the 90s. Dinky do, dinky do to you, la. Lovely to have you with us. A shout out from Singapore. Julia Hartley Brewer's my great aunt. We love that. Thank you very much. Yes, talking of talk show hosts. Oh, that's lovely. Come on, England. Flush the trolls doing the swanee. The beaches in Scotland are so beautiful. Ayr has a beautiful beach. Montrose, a beautiful beach. Then you go up north. Calgary, the sands of Calgary, the sands of Morar. 
Lewis, Harris, Uist. Can't find the Crean, Crean Larich one. Yes, it's there, Crean Larich. Hello from Tenerife. You, you'll see by the figures. I don't know if you can see the figures. You took over Pete Price's slot and up part Liverpool. Ha, ha, ha. I did upset Liverpool. Yes, I did upset Liverpool, but it got you all listening. Tell you that for nothing, dinky do. The beaches in the northwest of Scotland are beautiful. Oh, up the west coast, Mull. Iona, what a beach on Iona. Do you wear flip-flops? No, they're not called flip-flops, Wilt. They're called after the beautiful French casual shoe designer, Philippe Flop. Uh, what does Dinky do mean? David Letterman. Yes, David Letterman's very good. Absolutely. You got me listening. We got you listening. Baloney. A baloney butty for you, I say. What about a Scotty McClue pie? Or a vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce? Guys, I want this to be the absolute top TikTok. If TikTok play ball with us and make sure every TikToker can see it, then there's no reason why this shouldn't be huge. So get following, get liking, get tapping. Let's make this happen big style. All right, Italy or England, what does dinky do? Dinky do means, is it well with you and the world? Scotty, do you believe it's coming home? Well, it's coming home to somewhere, either to Wembley or to Rome. So I believe it's coming home. It will come home. What goes up must come down. Football must come home to somewhere. Follow us as soon as you can. Get this man a plumber. Absolutely wilt. Fantastic. Can you tell me something about Fifi? My grandfather was born there. Fiji, Susie. Fifi or Fife. If it's Fife you're asking, you've just put Fifi. So I don't know if you mean Fiji or Fife. If you tell us about Fife, I'll tell you more than that, Susie. Susie D. Oops, I made myself too big. Hang on. <laughs> I've never, I've only once seen that before. You can make yourself bigger on the screen. <laughs> yes, Fife. Right, if it's Fife, I can tell you all about it. Fife is a kingdom within the kingdom of Scotland. Yes. Her Majesty the Queen is our sovereign lady and she's the head of state for Scotland. She's our first lady. Uh, come and join us, dinky do. Follow us as soon as you go on. God bless. Thank you for your following. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Correct. Correct indeed. Although the only thing I would take issue with is Jesus died for our sins. He died for all our sins. But I've never actually sinned, you see. So I've never done that. Uh, it's coming home. Thank you. Thank you, Susie D. Not at all. And uh, Fife is very, very important. The Fifers are very special people. And they speak with an accent like that. And Fife can, can the Lang Tun Kirkcaldy. There's a lot of uh, history in it. Mining. Dunfermline was the capital of Scotland. Dunfermline and Fife. So there you are. The fourth bridges cross from Lothian to Fife. I've only been to Gretna when I went north of the border. Lovely area. Gretna's beautiful. East Riggs all around there. Annan. Fantastic. Uh, the team went out and groups done out. Don't know what that means, TT Hanna. Don't understand. Do you support Greta Thunberg? Um, I think she's a remarkable individual but she's not really particularly well supported. The green agenda is not necessarily the right way ahead for the world, although it's pushed at us, you know? So, uh, you know, don't have too much green agenda. Think about it, you see? What's actually happening? All these great big wind turbines, when the earth is full of oil, gas, and coal for another 500 years at least, maybe another thousand years. So the green economy, everybody's getting sucked into the green economy. Think about electric cars. How far are you going to be able to travel in an electric car? 
If I get in my old 21-year-old jalopy now, I can drive to Africa or India. Probably wouldn't even break down. I can drive across Europe. With an electric car, I'd be lucky if I make it to the shops, you see. So things like that haven't been properly thought out. There we are. And uh, does, has Greta done any flying? Steve Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Steve Williams, you don't need to spam. We've got you there. Hi. Stop spamming now, Steve, or I'll have to ban you. Purple or white heather, Scotty? Well, big heather that grows in McClue's Towers gardens grounds is purple. But I think there's also some white. The white heather is lucky. Yes. Hydrogen's better than electric cars. Hydrogen power, yeah. Running cars on water. You know, fantastic. Woo! Have you ever heard of the Stanley Steamer? Tell us about that. The days of petroleum is long not over. Absolutely not over, Geodog. There's lots and lots of petroleum going about. Uh, there's, I think there's probably another thousand years of oil and gas. You know, so that might see us out. Are you for independent Scotland? Sorry if you already discussed it, baloney buddy. No, don't worry, because I know people scroll and join us, and then if the dafties don't stay, the smart people stay and watch Scotty McClue live. Uh, you know, it's fantastic. Who's hanging the wall? Uh, yes, I think Scotland could do very well economically, but I'm slightly concerned about some of the people who make up the independence movement. There's some very low IQs in there, you know, so maybe they need to return to education. Scottish education is the finest education in the world, but there's one or two low IQ people in the independence movement. That worries me. There's some people who don't understand that if we mess with the crown, independence will be kicked into the long grass. I've even had halfwits tell me, they would vote on the crown. The crown doesn't get voted on. The crown is apolitical. It's our symbol of authority. That's like saying you'll get rid of the stars and stripes in America. Yeah. If Scotland rejoins the EU, that will help. Baloney buddy, yes. I mean, we should never, ever, ever have left the EU. We were taking out the EU so that some elites don't have their tax affairs scrutinized. And nobody knows how much money they've got. Europe were threatening to have a look at people's accounts and to have a more even distribution of wealth. That went down like a lead balloon with the elites and they put pressure on the country to leave Europe. So very, very bad decision. Actually, economically and politically, Brexit was the most damaging thing since the First World War. I agree, we should never have left. Why should you have remained in the common market, not the EU? We should have arranged in the common market. Yeah, the EU was a kind of metamorphosis of the common market. But the United Kingdom begged to join the common market on their knees in the late 60s and uh, up to 71. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, now, who else have we got here? We should have remained in the EU, absolutely. Good man, Baloney Butty. Right, folks, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. This is big stuff. If you're a simple person who just likes to see uh, people dancing and um, dogs dressed up, then this is not for you. Okay, cool. The Lisbon Agreement was when it went wrong. Yeah, but remember that every country agreed to the Lisbon Agreement. And if you read it, there's not a problem there. See, People talk about Britain getting its country back. It, it never had been anywhere. We've now surrendered Britain to a handful of hooray Henrys who will asset strip it. Yeah. So there you go. That's what's happening. Thanks for answering me, Scotty. Not at all, baloney buddy. Very, very good to have you. Uh, right. You could be Balerno buddy. Uh, if you were, uh, you could be Balmino buddy. <laughs> Uh, we were not given the choice on the Lisbon Agreement. Yes, yes, every country voted on it. I'm pretty sure. What are your thoughts on the Schengen area? Well, again, you see, there are great benefits of Schengen, you know. And the people that took us out of Europe did it for their own gain. 
And of course, the people were watching the back because a lot of silly folk go along about it, you know. It should have been Ham Butty being a scouser. Yes, fantastic. Dinky do. Uh, our parliament voted on Lisbon. The people didn't. Well, our parliament are our elected representatives. I don't know that we can trust the people to vote on too much because there's a lot of low IQ out there. And we've had two referenda, referenda, referendum, referendums. We've had two. One on Scotland going independent, the other on leaving the EU. Both of these referenda have let the people down. They've both failed the people. Okay? Dinky do, I love you. Thank you, 2000 Crystal. Or Jam Butty, and homage to Ken Dodd's Jam Butty Mines. I adored Ken Dodd. And I knew Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd was a radio man as well as a television man and a theatre man. Ken Dodd was probably one of the finest people in show business. And I'm glad he lasted, still working, till he was 90. Tremendous. The MP should represent the views of the people they rarely do exactly because there's too much big business lobbying the government saying we will bung this and bung that and bung the next thing if you make sure you do this, that and the next thing for us. And we need politicians that go, no, no, you're not on, pal. Well, we'll take our business abroad. You take your business abroad. We only believe in ethics here. Referendums are successful when people are well informed. Yeah, but spiracles. The people were not well informed in Europe and they were not well informed in Scotland. Yes. All right. How much clout? I don't know who you're talking about, Baloney. Sorry. We are the Diddy men. We are the Diddy men. Loved it. Loved Ken Dodd. Tremendous. And uh, I had some lovely chats with him. Tremendous man. There we are. He came to the opening of Century Radio in uh, Manchester. Oh, I, I know who you're talking about. Yes, I don't know. I don't know, Baloney. I'm not into all that nonsense, you know. I have no time for the murky side of politics. Oh, heavens above. Woo! It's roasting in the studio at the minute. It really is fantastic. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, guys. Don't scroll past. Never scroll and never troll. That's my clue. There we are, Robin Day. Now, Angela, I could tell you what I've got in similarity to Robin Day. I remember a friend in 1974. No, sorry, 75. And he said to me, if a politician can get by Robin Day, he's got my vote. And the only other time I've heard that was about me, the Scotty McClue show. And a guy said, if he could get through an interview with Scotty McClue, he's got my vote. So there you are. Scotty, pardon my ignorance. What exactly is a troll? A troll geodog. Well, the trolls used to be in the forests in Norway. They were mythical, legendary creatures. Long-haired, angry wee guys that trolled people. But a troll on here, on the internet, is somebody that comes on and tries to disrupt the live stream with their cack, their caca. You're not in any radio station these days, McClure. No, no, no. I came off the radio last year. There we are, because they wanted to go for love songs because it was the weekend and it was difficult for them to have a talk show on at the weekends to staff it. Now they've emigrated to the internet. Yes, indeed. They're on here, but there's very few on here. I toast them immediately and send them doon the swanny. So they've got, pardon me, if you've just joined us, Scotty McClure, just for you, keep watching, never ever miss a second of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. It's coming home to Rome, do you think, Bill? Yes, indeed. 
Podcasts have taken over talk radio. I think so, Baloney. I mean, this, what I'm doing right now, has been the greatest success across the internet. Hence, hashtag Floatai, first lord of the internet. I also did a lot of YouTube's live. You know, if you want to go on to my YouTube channel, you'll see the URL in front of you. Go on and subscribe, Big Star. There's 1,500 videos. Watching from Manila in the Philippines, we love you. What you're doing now is great. Baloney, I think we've got it right, right now. I just think that TikTok need to ensure that every TikToker can see it. Yeah? And you guys all need to spread the word big style. So don't have any petty stuff. Uh, spread my clue. I don't like him and all that. I've had all this rubbish for 29 years. Just get on and do it. I've missed you since the 90s. I'm glad I've come across you today. Well, it's lovely to be back with the world. And I mean the world. Hiya from New Zealand, Nagati. We love you. I rub noses with you. It's coming, Rome. That's a very common word you hear if someone's talking nonsense. The caca. Can you play the guitar? No. Uh, I'm back. My phone died. Thomas von Bentheim. How lovely to have you with us. How are you, Scotty? I am amazing, Thomas, because all my viewers are coming back. The likes had dropped because of the football, the tennis, the sport, all that. And the followers are down a little bit. So get the following up, please. Everybody follow Scotty McClure. Dinky do. Can I join your live? You can indeed, Z4. Pizza for all Scots tonight? Yes, pizza. Or what about, um, what if we have a, a carbonara? Should we have carbonara? And uh, what about, uh, so we have pizza. We have carbonara. What about, uh, what else can we have? Do we have uh, a little Italian wine? <laughs> what are you doing, sir? I am talking live on TikTok. Everybody knows that. The wine also, yes. Where should the wine come from? Does it come from uh, Tuscany? Should we have Neapolitan ice cream from Napoli? Just like a mama used to make. We have the pasta. Yes, does we have the tagliatelle? Tagliatelle tonight. A braai. Thomas Van Bentheim, we have a braai. I don't think they're playing South Africa, are they? Fantastic. Do come and join us, everybody. Dinky do. Scotty McClue is here for you Sunday. Nothing gets past me, I tell you. There we are. Hi, everybody. Hi. Lovely to have you with us. A braai. I would love to come to South Africa when the better weather comes and have a braai. Fantastic. Dinky do. And of course, Jambo Jambo to Kenya, Swahili. Lovely to have you with us. EU let Malta alone on illegal migration issues. These issues make people angry. Sean, of course they do. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Listen, I'm no advocate for the EU in that they are perfect. But what people don't realize, Britain was virtually bust after the Second World War. Our leader during the Second World War was a man called Winston Churchill. He purported to have Britain's interests at heart. He was actually the original architect of the European Union, of the common market. When Britain went into Germany after the Nazis had gone, Churchill wanted to go on and take over Russia. Yeah. Yeah. But they wouldn't back him because we'd had six years of war. His dearest, dearest wish was to have a united Europe with the UK at its heart and a single European army with a single commander. That's Churchill for you. Brexiteers have made poor old Winston Churchill spin in his grave in Bladen Churchyard in Oxfordshire at Woodstock, just opposite Blenheim Palace, where the great man was born and now lies in peace. Robin Day was outspoken. Robin Day was a genius. 
Robin Day was a real student of politics. If I could bear being serious and keeping a straight face long enough, I would be delighted to do Robin Day's job. Yeah. So there we are, because we've never had anybody to match Robin Day. Question time now is just, you know, no disrespect to any of its presenters, but it's just a shadow of what it was. The whole country was watching question time. You know, nothing was set up or anything like that. Churchill helped towards creating issues in Israel, didn't he? Yes, I mean, Churchill was far. Far from perfect, but he was good. And of course, I disrespected Churchill because he stabbed everyone in the back, talented, talented people who came near to him, including Lord Reith. Shocking. You know, Churchill was in debt. Of course he was. Everybody helped him, you know. The Soviets would not have taken lightly to Winston's plan. No, I don't think they would, Joe Dog. I think they'd have absolutely gone for him, especially old Joe Stalin. Scott, hey, teach me, Braden. I can't teach you anything you like. You ask the questions, I'll give you the answers. Tremendous stuff. There you go. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do from Scotty McClue. That guys, I'm gonna to have to dash soon. Gonna get a shout out from my workmate Daniel. We're on our break just now. We're listening to you, McDoug. We love you guys. Dinky do to you and Daniel. They hung Australia out to dry in Gallipoli. Alan, I can't show you it, but just along there is a picture of my grandfather fighting at Gallipoli with the Scottish horse. In 1915. Okay, I will show you that. Churchill to half a million from the unmentionables. Uh, Churchill helped the poverty rates lower in the UK. You have to respect that. Poverty rates lower. Uh, did he? Did he drive them lower or help them? Hi from Norway. I would have said what helped poverty in the UK was the Labour government who threw Churchill out and I'm not a Labour man, threw Churchill out after the Second World War because they wanted a change. My only issue was the way Manny Shinwell destroyed Wentworth Woodhouse grounds and probably damaged the house by undermining it with coal workings. Hi from Norway. No way. We love it. Dinky do. Wentworth Woodhouse down at uh, Rotherham between Rotherham and Barnsley and Sheffield. Wentworth Woodhouse, beautiful, great, big old mansion, the biggest country house in Europe, and Manny Shinwell was responsible for serious, serious damage. So I didn't like him for that, but he was also a remarkable man. But that was just pure politics of envy. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. My company had a massive factory fire in Bells Hill. Did you hear? I shall do, Cameron. It's coming home. Fantastic. Guys, I'm going to have to push off. I love every single one of you lots. Stay fabulous. Love being you. It's a great thing to be. This is Scotty McClue saying thanks for watching and thanks for following and thanks for sharing and thanks for watching all the videos. Never miss a second of Scotty McClue or you'll miss a moment of life. Thoughts on Walter Cronkite, brilliant man. How about a spin on the squeeze box? Dear dog, I'd be delighted, but I don't have it with me. Love it, Scotty. Dinky do, you guys. Love you all. And we'll catch up soon. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are you ready? <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Love you all lots. Take great care of your dear selves. Enjoy the football, and we'll all catch up later. Taralas! 
Thank you very much, Scotty. Have a fantastic day. Thank you, Scottish country lady. Love you, beloved friend. Thank you, guys. Goodbye, Scotty. Top live as always. Bless you, La Hoop. And top of the day to you, sir. I say, God save Ireland.